we go from glory to glory by worshiping the Holy Ghost we go from righteousness to righteousness by speaking his word the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstraught thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us Psalms 118 and verse 5 I called upon the Lord the Lord answered me and set me in a large place sounds good right yes. who's the Lord God in the earth today the Holy Ghost. does that matter yes the Lord answered me so it'd be good to know who the Lord God in the earth today is and he set me in a large place mm -hmm. now as we know here we call upon the Lord in a way that a lot of people don't call upon the Lord because we know who he is and he set me in a large place he set me in a place I wasn't before because I wasn't calling on him in this way mm -hmm. does that make sense yeah. so part of the calling on him causes you to enter into a new place a large place that you weren't in before I testify this to be the case I wasn't in this large place before this place of largesse it's a large place mm -hmm. it's not a small place so the act of this calling upon him the Lord God Holy Ghost God in the earth today the one Jesus sent there's only one God in the earth today calling upon him in this way requires your mind to be renewed there's a renewing of the mind mm -hmm. the Bible calls it the renewing of the spirit of your mind and if it's renewed it's not thinking the way it was before it was thinking one way now it's thinking another way right yeah. the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words requires new thinking that's not the old thinking if you think that's the old thinking you don't know what you're talking about because we have so many people they're still operating on the old operating system and they're trying to run new software on it and it doesn't work it won't work it doesn't work and it won't work I'm telling you I used to run on the old operating system this is new second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit what spirit the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost is not Jesus Jesus ascended and is at the right hand of the Father to this very day and sent the Holy Ghost to be with us we now operate with him as God in the earth today that's new that's new yeah that's new mm -hmm. say that's new, that's new. now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is or where the spirit is Lord there is Liberty there is freedom Liberty and freedom to operate that you didn't have before before the Lord is that spirit before the spirit is Lord say before, before. the spirit is Lord, spirit is Lord. you are operating differently verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord or the Spirit Lord literally say the Spirit Lord, the Spirit Lord. that's different and it's a large place say a large place. a large place it's not a confined and narrow place it's large the Lord I called upon the Lord he set me in a large place he puts you into it say he puts me, he puts me into, into it. it sets you in a large place mm -hmm. are we getting this yeah. 
so I'm gonna ask you for some liberty and some latitude tonight mm -hmm. because things are new in here it's new territory places we haven't been before mm -hmm. does this make sense yes so many people re re repel or are repelled at the idea of going to some place some place they haven't been before mm -hmm. well they can't go anywhere new then these things are not normal in regular church and regular church in my estimation runs the gamut from you know the community church all the way to those who think they're spiritual with the gifts of the spirit and whatnot this doesn't exist there now the lord is that spirit and how could it exist there in the normal church when they wouldn't go here they wouldn't go here here where worshiping the holy ghost as god the only god in the earth today yeah. wouldn't go here therefore this is not normal it's not unscriptural we just read it right. now the lord is that spirit quite the contrary it is very scriptural i got here by doing things something that other people wouldn't do mainly worshiping the holy ghost as god is this okay yes it's widely accepted in most church situations or at least i could say in many church circles it's widely accepted for them to say things like we're a holy ghost church have you heard this we're a holy ghost church we're led by the spirit here at this church we're a spirit-led church have you heard these things mm -hmm. we're anointed by the spirit kind of church we're anointed church we flow with the spirit here at this church we have the gifts of the spirit operating in this church have you heard this before but these are all things say things, things. that's not him those are just things he does and things he has mm -hmm. but that's not him worship makes a division between those who worship him and those who don't worship makes the division there's a there's a divide coming between there's a divide being made between those who do and those who don't well how do you mean a division do you worship the anointing no that'd be silly do you worship the flow of the spirit no do you worship the gifts of the spirit do you worship being led by the spirit why because that's not him this is different and it puts you in a different place it puts you in a large room what does worshiping him as god is in a different place say i'm in a different place, in a different place. recognize it puts you in a different company there is a place where the righteous live and walk where others don't and almost invariably i don't know if you know this or not the churches and the people that would say all of those other things that i said being led by anointed by we're a holy ghost church yada yada you tell them to worship the holy ghost and what would they do completely reject you mm -hmm. as if you were speaking some kind of heresy can they possibly know him as god if they don't worship him no when you worship him as god you enter in through that door of now the Lord is that spirit and where he is Lord there is Liberty Hebrews 11 verse 21 by faith Jacob when he was a dying <laughs> when he was a dying blessed both the sons of Joseph and worshiped leaning upon the top of his staff he blessed and worshiped leaning upon the top of his staff pretty plain right mm -hmm. here we'll find a little insight into what worship actually means it's not 
the music portion of your service mm -hmm. that's the part i like i like the music part that's not what this is talking about did he start singing no i don't think so it said he worshiped though well it says here he worshiped leaning upon the top of his staff we can't misinterpret that so he was old he was a dying and he was leaning upon the top of his staff so he worshiped leaning upon the top of his staff stay with me do we need a staff to lean upon in order to worship no. so that's not it it wasn't that he was leaning on a staff that we know as an outside observer looking at him how he worshiped right it says he bowed his head is it that he bowed his head that's how we know he worshiped he literally could have dozed off i would imagine at his age he'd probably be dozing out there like oh he dozed off again we don't know that he was worshiping because his, he bowed his head or that he was leaning on the top of his staff this is necessary why because i have to break through people's weird ideas by faith when he was a dying blessed both the sons of joseph how do we know he blessed them he spoke words say he spoke words. he spoke words he spoke words over the sons of joseph and worshiped so we know he blessed them by saying words and worshiped it had to be by saying words mm -hmm. he blessed by saying things and he worshiped by saying things in order to worship the holy ghost as god what must you do well i gotta bow my head and have a staff no you have to say things it didn't say he broke out into song or did a little dance that would have been great but that's not what it said in order to worship the holy ghost you must say i worship you holy ghost is this too difficult that is what separates you from those who don't worship the holy ghost you are separated by the words you say when you say the words i worship you holy ghost what does that make you holy ghost a holy ghost worshiper something you weren't before you enter into a large place that you weren't in before simply by the use of those words you became a worshiper of the holy ghost separate and distinct differentiated say differentiated, differentiated. from other people who don't got a problem with this don't stop a room opens up to you it's large use of those words makes you a holy ghost worshiper first corinthians 15 11 says so we preach and so you believed and if so if listen if you are a holy ghost worshiper you use the words i worship you holy ghost then you are in my camp you are in this camp if you don't worship the holy ghost this is the divide if you don't worship the holy ghost then i'm not in your camp is this okay yes I used to be in your camp but I'm not anymore a division has been made I don't know if I can say it the right way but that's what's happening and it is true and it's a new large place in here I worship you Holy Ghost that we enter into and how do we walk with him in here by speaking his word speaking in agreement with his word is that large what's the limit to that ain't no limit to that worshiping the spirit lord the holy ghost is glorious we go from glory to glory by the spirit being lord say i go, I go. From, glory glory from glory to glory by worshiping, by worshiping the, spirit the spirit lord speaking in agreement with his word you know the holy ghost wrote the word right mm -hmm. holy man of old spake as they were moved by the holy ghost that's how we got the word mm -hmm. speaking in agreement with his word is what the bible calls righteousness 
the righteousness of faith we go from glory to glory by worshiping the Holy Ghost we go from righteousness to righteousness by speaking his word Romans chapter 10 verse 6 says but the righteousness which is of faith speaks, speaks. so righteousness speaks what saith it look down at verse 8 but what saith it the word what is the righteousness of faith saith it saith the word so when I'm saying the word his word I'm in the righteousness of faith yeah. scripturally mm -hmm. we go from glory to glory with the Spirit Lord and we go from righteousness of faith to righteousness of faith speaking in agreement with his word mm -hmm. in the glory and speaking righteousness is all things a very large place in the glory and speaking righteousness is all things a very large place say a very large place, very large place. are you here now I'm telling you that your most productive time will be spent here you've entered into this room you've entered into this large place your most productive time listen your most productive time is in worshiping the Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost and speaking his word I worship you Holy Ghost and speaking his word I worship you Holy Ghost my God supplies all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus mm -hmm. I worship you Holy Ghost God gives me power to get wealth I worship you Holy Ghost he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions mm -hmm. time here is not wasted time it's the most productive time Isaiah 41 verse 10 fear thou not for I am with thee are you still here yes. who's with thee Holy Ghost. how do you know because I believe that he's the one in the earth today right he's the one with me I have scripture after scripture fear thou not for I am with thee be not dismayed for I am thy God who's thy God the one that's with you Does this make sense mm -hmm. I will strengthen thee yay I will help thee yay aren't you glad God put the yays in there yes I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness he didn't say your righteousness no. you and your filthy rags he's gonna uphold you with the hand, right hand of his righteousness you want to be helped you want to be upheld it will be by the right hand of his righteousness yes. and it's the righteousness of God that prospers me it's not in the things that you've done and it's not in the things that I do do but it's in the said word of God that my righteousness exists I'm gonna say that again it's in the said word of God that my righteousness exists it's not in the things I do it's not in the things I don't do didn't do well I didn't do that now I'm righteousness I'm righteous because I didn't do something well good for you it's not in that it's not in doing it or not doing it your righteousness exists in the said Word of God get it straight your righteousness exists in the said word of God where's your righteousness the said word of God, said word of God. is this different mm -hmm. now that doesn't mean you don't do the right things we're still told to do the right things fast we can pray we can give all the things mm -hmm. but remember what Jesus said he said after you've done all of that you're still an unworthy servant Luke 17 10 remember this mm -hmm. but the lesson here is that my righteousness exists 
in the said word of god the words i've said mm -hmm. say the words i've said the words i've said where's your righteousness it's in those words you've said that are god's words he upholds you with the right hand of his righteousness his said word mm -hmm. are you here yeah. this is huge your righteousness exists in saying god's word only you want to walk righteous in this earth it's by saying god's word only his righteousness are you all right with uh, what jesus said about it yes. matthew chapter 12 and then verse 37 for by thy words thou shalt be justified and by thy words thou shalt be condemned what are you justified or condemned by the words, the words you say particularly the words that you've already said mm -hmm. right yep. that's where your righteousness exists mm -hmm. it's not by your works it's by your words that you are justified that you are made righteous are you getting this yeah. right words put you in a different place mm -hmm. say right words, right words put me in a different place, a, different place. a large place yes. using the words i worship you holy ghost opens up to you a different place there are words that you weren't using before mm -hmm. but now you're using them and you've become a holy ghost worshiper by extension beginning to speak god's word out your mouth mm -hmm. causes you to go from righteousness in a righteousness you weren't in before can you see this and where does your righteousness exist in saying those words we worship the holy ghost and then we speak righteousness and everything begins to work for us everything gets working in this way mm -hmm. in this room in this place in this day holy ghost i worship you and i thank you that your words are working in us now mightily we are going forward to the great things that you have for us being totally transformed from one glory to the next from one righteousness to the next righteous word of god from one righteous word of god to the next righteous word of god and we worship you in it in jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost, holy ghost i worship you you are the spirit lord I walk with you by speaking your words the blessing of you makes me rich and adds no sorrow in it wealth and riches shall be in my house in Jesus name amen Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God